Meteorologist Joe Hansel here with a look at your national forecast. Thanks so much for spending a couple minutes of your Friday here with us. So let's start off with the tropics as there are still a few notable things that we're watching out for. Most notably, still Tropical Storm Jose that has maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. Slow movement out of the northwest at 9 after it did that loop-de-loop. -loop. But of course, 70 mile per hour winds make it a tropical storm. But the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center does have it making its way back to hurricane strength sometime over the weekend as it kicks northward a little bit. And by the first half of next week, it's getting pretty close to the eastern seaboard. So watching for things like rough surf, perhaps some localized beach erosion out there. Obviously, we'll keep a close eye on how that evolves into the first half of next week. In the lower 48, though, we got mountain snow still falling in areas of Montana, northwest Wyoming. Here's uh, McDonald Pass in western Montana. Ugh. That's some tough driving, but also hearing that uh, some of the crews fighting wildfires, they've been having a rough time kind of transporting their equipment because of the snow. But some areas could see around three to six inches, perhaps over a foot in some portions of the Rockies of western Montana and northwestern Wyoming. But they could use that moisture again to help combat that wildfire season. Meanwhile, in the south central U.S. could get a bit, be a bit of a gusty day into Friday. Wind gusts around 30 miles per hour or so for cities like Oklahoma City and Wichita. In terms of severe weather, marginal risk in areas of the Red River Valley up and down the Dakotas and western Minnesota. Saturday up to a slight risk of severe weather, marginal risk as well. That includes the Minneapolis and Des Moines areas. And then Sunday, a risk of thunderstorms across much of the U.S. Not expecting severe weather at this time. Rainfall amounts, some heavier amounts in areas of Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa. We need it because drought is still going on. So we'll take any beneficial rain we can get as a cold trough of low pressure extending south from Canada well into the Pacific Northwest. That's more than enough to give us some widespread rain, chance of thunderstorms, and of course, mountain snow. That'll continue basically throughout the day into Saturday in that forecast.